Small multiples were introduced in Excel Cubed version 6.1 and still feature prominently in current versions. Small multiples allow you to chart your data and visually slice and dice so you can easily pick out trends and outliers in your data. In this video, we'll look at charting trends in data. So, first, I'm going to insert a grid that shows sales figures for 2014. These are broken down by product, geography and reseller type and for each of these I have my monthly sales data. As you can see, it's not easy to pick out any trends over time just by looking at the numbers and it's also not intuitive to make comparisons between the different products and regions. To try and make this better, I'm going to insert a small multiple to visualise the data. To do this, we go to the small multiples icon on the Excel cube ribbon. When we do this, two things appear. First is the chart area. Secondly, on the right is the chart designer where I can pick how I'm going to slice and dice my data. Currently, as you can see, I have a warning telling me I need to pick the categories that will appear on my chart. As I'm going for a trend over time, I'll pick calendar date and then in the member selector I'm going to pick the months for all time periods. I will now have a basic chart showing me the cells for all the years in the cube. Originally, I wanted to see the cells split out by product, so I'll grab the product hierarchy and use that to create the series on the chart. We will be picking accessories, road bikes and mountain bikes. Now that we've split that out, I'd like to change the chart type and for visualising a trend, I'm going to use simple lines. So far, this is a familiar chart, but now I also want to slice my data by the geography. To do this, I'll move the geography hierarchy to the columns area and we'll pick out all the countries except the United States as this tends to skew the data. Now the charts have changed quite a lot. The plot area has been split out and now I have a separate set of series, each showing the trends for the countries I selected. These are the small multiple charts. Our final step will be to select the reseller type. So I'll move reseller in the rows area and again with the member selector choose the members that I want to see. Now my data has been broken down again and we have two rows of charts. Each of these smaller charts represents the sale trends of for any given reseller in any given country. Note that the scales on all the charts are shared so we can easily compare between charts to see where the high and low volumes are. And small multiples also allow more interactive exploration. In Australia, cells are low relative to other areas so we can't pick out the detail. If we double click on the title we can dr drill into that country to see more. Now we can see the next level down in the hierarchy and the scale is automatically adjusted so we can pick out the trends. To go back to the previous chart, we simply click the back button. We can easily swap how our analysis is being done by dragging and dropping hierarchies. So if I want to see a series for each reseller, I can switch it with products. I now have a series for each reseller and a row of charts representing each of my product lines. Again, I can use the back button to return to the previous chart. Finally, small multiples can be linked to inputs from your workbook. So instead of showing the data for all years, I'll create a slicer to pick a specific one. I pick Insert Slicer and I'll use my time dimension, specifically 2013 to 2015 for ease, I'll use button slicers. Now I can go back into the chart designer and change the selection. So. On date calendar, I'll pick the slicer value, descending at month level and remove all periods. So now I can pick a specific year and as you can see, as I click on a year, the data will update to the months of that year. If you want to know more uses of small multiples, take a look at the advanced small multiples video where we'll see how to find correlations between measures, outliers in our data and more.